Unit number 14, the secret of machines. Look at the given picture. Can you name these machines? Dirkit, which machine do you like the most and why? And how do machines help us? Let's read the poem. We were taken from the ore bat and the mine. We were melted in the furnace and the pit. We were cast and wrought and hammered to design. We were cut and filed and tooled and got to fit. Some water, coal and oil is all we ask and the thousandth of an inch to give us play. And now, if you will set us to our task, we will serve you four and twenty hours a day. We can pull and haul and push and lift and drive. We can print and pluff and weave and heat and light. We can run and jump and swim and fly and dive. We can see and hear and count and read and write. Do you wish to make the mountains bear their head? and lay their new-cut forests at your feet? Do you want to turn a river in its bud and plant a barren wilderness with wheat? Shall we pipe aloft and bring you water down from the never-failing cisterns of the snows? To walk the mills and tramways in your town and irrigate your orchard as it flows? It is easy. Give us dynamite and drills. Watch the iron shoulders rocks lay down and quake. As the thirsty desert level floods and fills. And the valley we have dammed become a lake. Well, this poem is, is telling us about uh, what machines can do how machines are made, how machines successfully complete a difficult job like bringing water to a desert. It's also telling us about what machines need to work 24 hours a day. Dear kids, do you know how is paper obtained? And can you explain the process of making paper? It's time to read my vocabulary. Orbat, open mind, wrote to shape hot liquid metal. Cast, made or crafted. Gauged, mired. Haul, pull. Pluff, make deep lines in the earth for planting seeds. Barren, unable to produce a crop. Wilderness, land with little animal or plant life. Dynamite, material used for causing blast. Quake, shape, dim. Put a dam across. Cisterns, a tank for storing water.